chat. I, I wish I had a chat, whatever. It's cool. Uh, yeah, Hippo versus G-Rod. Stream, if we could switch the, uh, the names real quick. Uh, right now, G-Rod and Hippo kind of just playing non-interactively. They're kind of <laughs> running away from each other the whole time. That was a weird interaction. Well, what happened? Uh, G-Rod PK fired Hippo's T-Jolt, and then it exploded on it, and then Hippo ran into the exploding PK fire. Hmm. That's something I've never seen, but it might be useful to know in this matchup, since uh, Pichu tends to run towards his T-Jolt a lot. Uh -huh. I feel like Pichu will not be able to combo him very well, which is like one of Pichu's strongest points. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely like, a, like a, a, a floatier character. It makes it harder for him to get mm -hmm. the lightning loops, the, the up air combos, that sort of deal. But I think Pichu does fine in neutral. He can just sort of run and do PK, uh, PK fire and stuff. Yeah. I feel like, um, what's his name? Lucas's Nair would beat out a lot of Pikachu, not Pikachu, Pichu's approaches. I don't know, Pichu's approaches can be pretty disjointed. Like, it might beat it if he's falling. That was a weird looking <laughs> T-Jolt. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like Pichu just has the out of shield options to deal with a lot of Lucas's pressure. Mm -hmm. And Lucas doesn't have the out of shield options to deal with Pichu's pressure. Like, Nair might just go over Pichu. But we'll, we'll see how those interactions go. Back Ooh. throw. Taking the stock at 109. Yeah, Lucas, I think literally all of his throws are kill throws, bar down throw. Uh -huh. So. Even then, a down throw would lead to, like, an up air. Yeah, exactly. I remember in Smash 4, like, like he either back threw you, forward threw you to kill, or <laughs> up threw to you to kill. Or if you're 80, down throw, up yeah. air you. It was just, he had literally the most kill throws oh. of any character in the game. And I'm not, I'm not sure if um, PK Freeze is affected by the weight. Do you know that? I'm not sure. It, it could be. Because if it, it is, it harder then, to mash. If it is, then Pichu might die really early from a PK freeze. Unfortunate PK Thunder, and right now Hippo just sort of fishing for down smashes. He's he's, he's mm. just looking for a kill, so he's throwing out smash attacks, hoping to hit G Rod with something. But G Rod playing so defensively, yeah. not letting it happen. He's just rolling, spot dodging, and throwing out smash attacks. And back oh, throw. And oh, he's alive. Yeah, almost enough to do it, but not quite good DI coming out from Hippo. But Hippo, he just needs to find a stock safely without <coughs> losing it right here. One grab from G-Rod will kill him. Yeah, exactly. He just anything. needs one ba- Ooh, that, was Ooh. A, that, was, that wasn't a grab. That was a Zair. But Zair grab is a, is a setup. Hippo needs this edge guard right now. Not quite oh. getting it. Oh, he missed it. S yeah, SD from G-Rod. Pretty, pretty unfortunate stuff for G-Rod, but he still has a massive lead. He still just needs one mm -hmm. grab in order to take this stock. Ooh, oh, really good evasion coming out from G Rod, knowing what Hippo is trying to do. The up throw, taking it off the top, and G Rod just sort of flexing with his movement right now. <laughs> okay, and Hippo has something on him. Oh, never mind, he drops it. Yeah, Hippo, Hippo had a combo started. Yeah, overextended just a little bit, and now G Rod Ooh. getting his own pressure started. Thirty-four percent on the board, about to lap in percent. And there it is. Yeah, G-Rod right now just just rolling with this momentum. Yeah, right now G-Rod has a pretty massive lead, so even if he manages to lose it, he still has a pretty big advantage. And even then, Pichu's light. Like, Pichu is at kill percent. Mm -hmm. I don't know if G-Rod is unless he gets hit oh, by something might, really strong oh. like an F-Smash. Forward or drag down, Ooh. up tilt. Not quite getting anything started, but Hippo could potentially... Get something started if he can land one of those smash attacks that he's been fishing for. Just G-Rod knows it, so he's not really engaging. Hippo trying to get these edge guards. G-Rod's really good at evading those. Oh, for sure. His evasive yeah. play is so, so good. And now Hippo might be at the percent where back throw can take it. I didn't know dash tech at two mm. frame. Huh. G-Rod hasn't back been throw. hit once off the ledge. Oh, Exactly. And, and G-Rod... Hippo likes playing at that mid-range a lot, outside mm -hmm. of G-Rod's immediate range. But if he's just dash dancing outside of G-Rod's range, G-Rod has no problem just running up, grabbing him, back throw, that's the game. You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, super solid stuff from G-Rod that game one. Hippo's going to need to make some major adjustments in order to finish off this game. Or uh, to, to at least get back in the set, yeah. you know? Uh, I would really love to see Hippo be a little bit more safe whenever he's trying to go for kills. Maybe go for back airs off the ledge to kill earlier against Lucas. But Lucas has his air, which makes it a little bit more obnoxious to actually deal with his recovery. Ooh, and switch to Krom. Have you ever seen Hippo play Krom? Yeah, that's his new main, I think. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've, well, yeah, I've he, never he, seen Hippo's Krom. He's been kind of going back and forth. Okay. He has a Roy too, by the way. Interesting. 
Well, I think Krom does pretty well versus Lucas. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like his sword gives him like just enough range to... Oh yeah, if, if, if he attacks. plays more defensively than he does with Pichu, he'll mm -hmm. have no problem with it. But he's playing so aggro, pressing yeah, forward. Is, like, g Rod is just shielding all of his moves. Yeah, and even when he's not shielding the moves, oh. like he's just letting him play the PK... F Ooh, I've never seen that interaction. Yeah. PK Fire getting hit by the, the spinning hits of up B, but... Yeah, Hippo's just pressing forward so much, and he's not winning interactions, because G-Rod will just wait for him to whiff, hit him for it, like, right there, Ooh. and get something started. Oh. PK Thunder? I feel as if it? PK Frost and Freeze would, like, kill him easily right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you know when he's about to hit it, and he, he's going for it right there. Oh. The bait! He, he dropped the PK Freeze, but PK Freeze has such little lag that he could just throw out a down smash, deal with Hippo trying to hit him and punish him for it, and he's lapped him in percent again. Okay, yeah, he's waited it out for once. <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to see... <laughs> oh, this might be... Uh, the tech, it, but he tech oh. jumped, so he died for it. Really unfortunate, but G-Rod up two stocks. Hippo gonna have to do so much to bring this back. Right now, G-Rod's still rolling with it. Yeah, Hippo, Hippo's just pressing forward, wants to hit something. He's not really yeah, waiting right for G-Rod at all. The, and he kind of has to, because he's so behind. With this lead, he's kind of just grasping at straws. Just trying so hard to get a hit on him. Yeah, and G-Rod capitalizing on that desperation right now. However, might be able Ooh. to lose the stock. Signs of life from Hippo right now. Oh. The okay, back air yeah. to cover the landing. Hippo taking a stock, but still at a massive deficit. He's going to have to do a lot of work here to try and bring it back. But, and G-Rod just playing so safe. Hippo's playing a bit more patient now. Yeah, and I think that's what he should be yeah. doing in this matchup. Like, just, just ke keeping center stage, dealing with it. I feel like this is still very doable for him. Like, just on the way he's playing right now. Yeah, he's, he's picking his moments. Yeah. So it's definitely possible. Especially if he doesn't get into percents where, where back throw would kill or up throw would kill. As, he just needs to keep this this patience. See how he's not, like, like jumping in with forward mm -hmm. airs or whatever, yeah, yeah. double jumping all over the place. He's, he's just weaving in and out of uh, G-Rod's range. But he has such little room for error. Oh, that F smash yeah. not being one of those errors, though. Taking the stock, evening up the stock count. This is looking a lot better from Hippo right now. And Hippo just working yeah, with this advantage state. Not letting him in. Oh, he is now, but... Does he have oh. his jump? He does. Lands back on stage. So he gets PK fired, and this might be the game. Yeah, that's it. Yep. PK freeze from G-Rod. Finishing off Hippo. I mean, it's a pretty good comeback starting from Hippo right there. Yeah, but if he had played like that from the yeah, start... Yeah, from, from the start, he would have been doing so much better. But G-Rod taking the set 2-0...